I am, among other things, your host, Stephen Colbert. And I think... <laughs> I speak for all of us in here, out there, watching everyone in the theater when we say our hearts go out to the people of Florida right now. If you're looking for something you can do right away, you could go to The Late Show's Twitter page. And at the top, we have pinned a list of charities that are standing by right now, ready to help. And they need help because Hurricane Ian has ravaged the state. In the last 24 hours, Florida has been hit with unprecedented winds and rainfall, massive flooding, and at one botanical garden in St. Petersburg, a group of flamingos had a hurricane party in the bathroom. Really? They all just went to the bathroom at the same time? Those flamingos are clearly doing coke in there. Florida. Come on. In the wake of the storm, some Floridians are finding catfish in their front yards. And to make matters worse, they were nowhere near as hot as their profile picture. <laughs> Un... There you go. Make up. Gotta make up for it. <laughs> unprecedented storms call for unprecedented storm coverage. And before I show you this clip of the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori, I want to assure you, Jim Cantori is fine. I don't really see anything out here. Uh, a couple pieces of debris look like some, some housing, uh, styrofoam and things like that that are like underneath the roofing, maybe in the roof. It just came flying by. All right, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm just going to come in here for a second. Just give me a second. Jim, you all right? Yeah. I hope you're all right, Jim, because uh, we're going to keep you out there for a while. This footage is absolutely awesome. Next time a branch flies by, is there any chance it could hit you in the nuts? <laughs> Because just this is golden tape, buddy. Golden tape. One Florida reporter took a particularly unique approach to protecting her electronic equipment when she wrapped her microphone in a condom. <laughs> which prompted some viewers to complain, come on, a condom on a microphone is like watching the news and with a raincoat on. I want to <laughs> I want to feel the disaster. <laughs> the reporter that is Sure. <laughs> Reporter explained her creative tech. A lot of people are asking, what is on my microphone? It is what you think it is. It's a condom. To which lying virgins responded, oh, yeah, duh, I know what it is, and I know how to use it. It's for sexing, which I have done. On <laughs> the count of three, let's both say what sex feels like. One, two, three, powdery. <laughs> powdery. <laughs> Moving over to politics, uh, the midterms are right around the corner, and one candidate not doing so well is Pennsylvania Republican nominee and... <laughs> and egg with dentures, Doug Mastriano. <laughs> Mastriano is struggling in the polls, in part because, according to political scientists, he sucks. <laughs> Among other things... <laughs> Among... Among the ways that he sucks, he attended the January 6th riot, has a long-standing association with Christian nationalist ideas, proposed charging women who violate an abortion ban with murder, is connected to a social media site run by a notorious anti-Semite, and was photographed wearing a Confederate uniform. Because historically, nothing projects winner like a Confederate soldier in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Four score, seven years ago. Mastriano's popularity was never great. Now it's tanking. Case in point, this weekend, he held what he promised would be a big rally, but ended up looking like this. <laughs> Ouch! Not a great sign when your rally has more stares than people. <laughs> He's also been wildly outraised by millions of dollars, and he seems to be getting desperate, because yesterday on Facebook, his campaign shared this picture declaring 40 days of fasting and prayer. Now, it might be because he's looking for a miracle. Might be because he can't afford food. <laughs> Until I am elected governor, I will not eat or pay my rent. <laughs> of course, by fasting for 40 days, 
Mastriano is following in the footsteps of Jesus, which makes sense because Jesus was also never governor of Pennsylvania. <laughs> One... <laughs> gotta wait. Any moment. Any moment. Any moment. Ready. Ready. <laughs> One interesting wrinkle, it's unclear who Mastriano expects to start fasting on Thursday. I hope he doesn't mean all of his supporters. That would be starvation for tens of people. <laughs> Speaking of crazy right-wingers, there's a new ad from Georgia representative and... <laughs> and hold for booing Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Greene just dropped a pretty strange re-election commercial. Man, Thor Love and Thunder looks awful. It got even weirder when she opened her mouth. We've got skyrocketing inflation, high diesel fuel, and Democrats' America last policies. Democrats aren't the only ones destroying farmers' ability to put food on the table. We've got wild hogs destroying farmers' fields. So we decided to go hog hunting. You hog! <laughs> so, to clarify her argument, Democrats are hurting farmers, so she's going to own the libs by shooting feral pigs from a helicopter. <laughs> this ad is like reading a Mad Lib filled out by somebody on bath salts. Democrats are gutting your rights, and you know what we're gonna gut? Fish. Register today to win a chance to help me machine gun socialist trout. <laughs> it may seem... From a helicopter. It may seem like Green's just looking for any excuse to kill stuff, but it's all part of a rich tradition of American politics. Who can forget Ronald Reagan's classic campaign ad? It's morning again in America. Let's throw a grenade in a petting zoo. <laughs> I'm Ronald Reagan, and I approve this message. We have an update. Come on, Ronnie! <laughs> the Gipper! <laughs> true story, that's true. We have an update on another Southern grifter. I'm talking about former NFL quarterback Brett Favre. <laughs> Seen here trying to remember the password to his shoelaces. <laughs> In May, the state of Mississippi sued Favre for funding a volleyball stadium at the University of Southern Mississippi by allegedly working to divert funds from the state's welfare program. Wow. Turns out every picture of Brett Favre is a dick pic. <laughs> In addition... It's an old reference, but it still works. Still works. Holds up. In addition... In addition to misdirecting funds, the state of Mississippi also paid Favre $1.1 million to make motivational speeches. Then Favre never gave the speeches. Imagine paying a million dollars for a Brett Favre speech. Hi, me get hit real hard, head hurt, steal money. I'm Bet Farn. Thank you. Touchdown! <laughs> After months, after months of investigation, it looks like this is starting to catch up with Mr. Favre. On Sunday, it was announced that his serious XM show has been placed on hold over the allegations. Wait a second. No, wait a second. No, Brett Favre on XM radio? Now, how will I listen to him while renting a Toyota Corolla or similar? <laughs> In other news of sport, last night, Yankee outfielder Aaron Judge hit his 61st home run, tying the American League record. Now, it's tying the American League record. It would, it would tie the record for all of baseball, but about 20 years ago, a bunch of guys broke the record after taking so many steroids, their heads wouldn't fit in the overhead compartment of an airplane. <laughs> but anyway, Aaron Judge did it clean. And let's check out his moment of glory from last night. And the 3-2. Joel deep to left field. This could be it. See ya. He's done it. Number 
for 61. He's been chasing history, and now he makes it. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, two things about that. One, wow. Two, eagle-eyed viewers might notice that a fan nearly caught that ball. And it would be malpractice as a late-night host if I did not mention that the man who missed that catch was named Frankie Lasagna. <laughs> Hey, it's Frankie Lasagna. It's Francis. It's Francis Lasagna. My friends call me Frankie. <laughs> Which is either the best name I've ever heard or the worst alias in the history of the mob. <laughs> hey, I'm Frankie Lasagna. These are my associates. Mikey Pizza, Sal Calzone, and his cousin, Bobby Unlimited Breadsticks. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Hey, my guest is George Clooney. Can we come back? 